So in this lesson, we're going to introduce a specific term and calculation, annual financing cost. The annual financing cost of short-term borrowing with the bank. So AF, I'm going to abbreviate that AFC, annual financing cost. And what that means is all the short-term borrowing regardless of what the term of maturity is, will all be compared on, on an annualized basis. So that means if we borrow money for 12 months, that's kind of the benchmark or standard we will use to measure all of our short-term borrowing at the bank. So sometimes we may borrow money for three months, six months, nine months, whatever it is. We'll compare, we'll calculate all of this on, on an annualized basis to come up with the annual financing cost so that we can compare everything to see what it is on an annualized basis. So we want to measure the, sh the short-term borrowing cost on an annualized basis. And what we will notice as we get shorter and shorter terms of maturity, so if we go from nine months to six months, or from six months to three months, the annualized financing cost, or AFC, will go up dramatically. And we want to account for all of the cost of borrowing the money at the bank. The bulk of the money, the bulk, the biggest single cost, or bulk of the cost, when it comes to financing, is going to be the interest that you have to pay back to the bank. So you pay back principal, which is the loan amount. So if you borrow $10,000, that's the principal but you have to pay back not only the principal, that's $10,000, but you also have, you have to pay interest on top of that, and that's going to be our primary financing cost, but there may be other fees involved that we will add into this. So interest is the big financing cost, but there could be processing fees and other things that we will take into account so that we can get a true picture of the total cost of financing and borrowing at the bank. And then when the bank actually gives us the money, we want to account for how much money is actually deposited in our checking account. What do we have use of? Use of, and if there are some type of restrictions, then we, or there's less money dispersed to that, we will take that into account as well. So we want to take all of this account into account when we figure out what our annual financing cost is. So we will take into account the interest, which is the primary financing cost, any fees. So all of these costs, we'll add them up, we'll sum them up, and we'll divide them by the usable funds that we are giving by the bank under the loan agreement. <clears throat> so we'll take this, these amounts, divided by and we'll use the banker's year, which is 360 days, divided by the days of maturity within this particular loan. So if the loan is just a 30-day loan, a one-month loan, it'll be 30. If it's three months, then it'll be 90 days. So in our example, we're going to take out $20,000. We have a $20,000 loan with the bank, and it's six months. $20,000 loan, six months. So what, are our, what is the actual annual financing cost for this $20,000 loan, six months? What is it? Well, it turns out we have interest and fees and other things that we have to pay that add up to $2,000 for this six-month $20,000 loan. So we figure out what that is and we put that right here. Then on top of that, the funds that the bank gives us, the usable funds, are not $20,000. They're $18,000. So it's less. So $2,000 divided by $18,000. Banker's year for the whole year, $360. Six-month loan, 180 days. So $2,000 divided by $18,000 is 11.1% that's that's basically that's the cost but this is not this is the annual this is just this is an annual but we're not borrowing this money for 12 months we're borrowing this money for only six months 
So you have to take this into account. So if you take 11.1% times 2, because this is a six-month loan, not a one-year loan, then the annualized financing cost, the AFC for this $20,000 six-month loan is 22.2%. 22.2%. So it goes up versus a one-year loan, which would be 11.1%. Okay, So this kind of shows you how the term of the loan dramatically increases the annualized financing costs. So as you borrow money on shorter, shorter term basis, your costs are going to go up dramatically. So you need to take that into account as you run your business and finance current operations with the bank. So in the next couple of lessons, we're going to get into some additional things that go into account, like compensating balances.